City is a very interesting historic town in New Mexico. We have a long history of a variety of different cultures living here from the Membrace people out in the Membrace Valley who are famous for their pottery and then Apache and um, the Pueblan people here and we've just also got a lot of different outdoor geographical unique sites located here. So we're both important historically and geographically in the state of New Mexico. So Silver City was founded because they found silver here. Um, and so the hills around here were mined um, and they are still being mined. We, right now we have Freeport McMoran is a uh, copper mine and it is one of the major uh, employers in our area. So mining uh, was and still is a very important factor to Silver City. And this was a town that was built to last. It was a mining town, but unlike a lot of other mining towns, uh, it was built with brick after a couple of fires in the early history. So if you walk around our downtown, we have lots of really interesting architecture, lots of Victorian homes, but also Art Deco. And so it was a town that has a lot of history and a lot of old buildings that you can still uh, see and walk around. Although we had this series of floods, um, and they became so regular in the early 1900s, that people referred to the flood season. It wasn't the rainy season, it was the flood season. But on the night of July 21st, 1895, a flood came that there was no turning back from. It seems that right where Main Street had been placed in this grid of town streets, happened to be the place where the floodwaters from the Pinos Altos Mountains wanted to flow. About three feet of water swept through the downtown area. After that, there was no point in, in rebuilding the street. There were um, bridges cobbled together so that people could walk across. But that was the point when Main Street was no longer a street that was kept up as a street. It was sort of considered an arroyo. Now we have a number of different trails. One of them you see right here, which is called the Big Ditch or the Big Ditch Park. And so they've created a park now here and moved Main Street back up onto a higher elevation behind us here. I guess my favorite thing is the arts and the culture. We've got a lot of studios and artists here. We've got a couple of different theater groups. We've got fantastic restaurants. And during the summer, we have just festivals and festivals and festivals. And so they're wonderful family events and, and a lot of culture. It's, um, a gorgeous southwestern sort of climate. So I, I kind of like to think of us as being a hidden gem that a lot of people still need to explore. I love the people, I love the weather, I love the security I feel here. I just couldn't see myself anywhere else. And I enjoy Silver City because of our theme parties. It's fun dressing them all up. We've gotten these wonderful people that have moved in. and We have so many talented people here. We have people who come in loving Silver City, even though they're not native, but they love it. They have improved it. They've opened up shops. And the important thing is they don't want to change it. We have some of the best events going on. And it's almost like I have to go month through month through month because there's always something going on. If people tell you in Silver City they're bored, they're living in a cave because there's something going on just about every weekend. We actually have everything here. We have lots of painters, sculptors, uh, we have glass artists, we have mosaicists, we have mixed media, we have encaustic. Uh, you think of it, I think basically that we have it. I mean, it's, uh, it's a good place to come and check out art, for sure. Beautiful place to be. Couldn't ask for more. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I came here to study zoology. and. I just kept being pulled back into art. I'm mixed media in a variety of ways. I'm also a theatrical lighting designer and a writer. The art scene here is diverse, culturally aware in most cases, pretty vibrant and, and ongoing. There's something about just being a little more open and a little more free here. The nicest thing about Silver City is you can drive 15 minutes in any direction and be out in the forest. So we have a lot of really interesting things just to do. You could easily park in our visitor center parking lot here, spend two days and never have to move your car again. It's a very walkable downtown, lots of great restaurants, fun coffee shops, and really interesting, unique shops. I live here because I love it. Um, you come here, it's fun, it's friendly. We hear that all the time from visitors. They move here and they say, it's such a friendly town. And we really are. If you walk around downtown, you're gonna get lots of smiles and hellos as you walk around.
We're on Facebook and we're on Instagram. You can find us at Visit Silver City on either platform. We post a lot of photos of the area right in Silver City and all of Grant County. The community here is amazing. Yeah, people here are, that's really what makes this town.